everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Jessica, Jessica, exhausted, tired, and everything, but I am back here with another snack unboxing video. This one is from Buxu, and I got the premium snack box, so I got one of the top tiers, and I did a three-month three month subscription for them. So I'm really excited to try this and to see what's in this one. The other one that I did was pretty amazing it was nice to try the flavors and I'm super excited to try this one and it's in their limited edition spring box and I'm pretty sure it's in theme of the cherry blossoms so I'm ex super excited to try this want to thank you guys again for subscribing and everything um, again always make sure if you want to or you really should follow me on social media um, make sure you subscribe to my channel it would be greatly appreciated with all that being said, start opening this box and seeing what is in here. And I'm ready to delve into this box. I'm pretty sure that's not even the right word, but so figured it out. Angle it down. It's got a message in there. It comes with a thank you letter, super cute, and it comes with a booklet. So I'm pretty certain I've heard that they come with a booklet that tells you everything that's in there um, in case for allergies or dietary anything. So I'm really in love with the fact that it's here. It's pretty thick. So I'm pretty sure it's very informational. This is what's going on in the inside. I'm probably going to put this in the video so you guys can read it more clearly, but it tells you everything. It's giving you background about Boxu. I know that this company particularly works exclusively or very close with the people um, that give the snacks in this box so it's very curated so here it tells you about what you can expect from each season I think that's awesome and then we get into the snacks I'm going to pick the first one I don't know if I can say this but this is Hokkaido red bean donuts Oh, it's a sweet flavor. It's vegetarian. I feel like you guys should really try this out because it's very descriptive. I've never heard of this before, obviously, but I'm nervous. Obviously, I'm going to try a bit of it on camera. This is what it looks like. I don't know how to describe it, but it's savory and sweet at the same time, and I actually like this. That's very... <laughs> It tastes really good. This is actually an exclusive collaboration. So that tells you exclusively working with some of these people that create in this box. It's pretty thick and dense as you guys can see. We got these. I don't even know what they are. I don't know. So there's two bags of these. I'm not sure if they're different flavors, but it says they're the Funwari Meji Mochi Puffs Kinako. Wildly addicting sweet nutty flavor. I'm going to try one of these. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks like a chicken nugget, but I know it's not going to taste like one. It's very airy, fluffy, and puffy. I believe I'm tasting the soybean. It's really good. So, so far, I like the very first two. Some lemon candy, yuzu sake candy. I've actually never had sake before, and I heard it's very awakening. I keep putting the wrong place in the camera, so. That's really good. It's delicious. I just read the description and it contains alcohol. <laughs> it's good though, but you can literally take this stuff to work and just be like, oh, I have candy. And nobody knows that like you're like low key getting lit. It's kind of cool. Right here, they have little packs of tea. Not gonna do this one because that would just really take too long, but I am going to probably do a short, a YouTube short, tell you guys how it tastes, but I'm not gonna try it today because there's literally so much more. We have this orange packaging. So I believe this one is the uni rice cracker. It has a fish flavor to it, so it's not vegetarian, but it also contains alcohol. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's kind of like vodka sauce and pasta. You don't really taste it or like rum cake. You're gonna have to vacuum later. It doesn't smell so bad. I can taste the fish flavor. I don't hate it and I don't love it. It's not awful, but this would not be my favorite snack, but it's very, it's pretty good. This one, I 
believe I tried this with the last box. Um, the last one, it had like a soda-y type of flavor. It contains mollusk, milk, wheat, and soy. So this is definitely not like the last one I tried. <laughs> but it's similar, it looks similar like the one I tried in the Japan grape. I did not know you could combine fish and chocolate. I don't think I'm gonna like this one. I'm so confused because I don't taste fish. It's chocolate and it's wafer, but I'm really confused. There's this, we got little people on it. It says it's fried and marinated, so it's kind of tiny. That's what it's looking like. It tastes like ketchup. Moving on, this is the Edamame Sinbei. These are vegetarian. I'm gonna open up one of them. This is what it looks like. I like that one. I actually really do like the one. I love the flavor in it. It's good. <laughs> Mochan Dango Mochi. I'm still trying to figure out what mochi is because I still don't know. I just tried it for the first time like two weeks ago. Oh, they're very soft. Like it's very squishy. Based off the description, it's basically sugar. Sugar all over my hands. On to the next one. We have a pear fromage biscuit. I'm going to try it. A lot of these are vegetarian. Yeah, this is definitely cheese. I can't really eat cheese, so I'm gonna give this to somebody else. It's cheese, but it's good. I can't really eat cheese like I used to. That's some high quality cheese right there though. I'll tell you that. We got this. I have no idea what this is. This isn't in the book. There's, we have this one. This one looks cute. It reminds me of like Sanrio. This says it's the Black Sesame Taiko Kumamon design. Let's see what's going on. That's how it's coming out. It kind of looks like a coaster. That's really sweet. Not my favorite, but it's not bad. This right here is the Amori Apple Caramel Yokoi Sabo. It smells like caramel apple. Oh my God, that is so good. <laughs> it tastes just like it. It's delicious. That's a cookie. Next we have these white strawberry things. Oh, this is the strawberry. Ooh, I can taste the strawberry. It's phenomenal. That's, mm. That's good. That's really good. This one right here is Seaweed Tempura Satoshi Sadachi. This one also contains mollusk, shellfish, whatever the hell our product. So it's lined with seaweed on the bottom. Oh, that's a no. That's a no. I missed the five seconds before I tried that. I'm going to try this one, a matcha chocolate stick cake. This just doesn't taste good. It's very soft. I think I said this in the last video. I don't like matcha. And last but not least, I have the stick potato super mucho plum. They're like sticks. This is what it looks like. They're kind of tiny. I can taste the plum and I can taste the potato. It's like chips, pretty good, it's different flavor. All in all, again, these are different flavors. Some of them, as you can tell, I didn't really like, but this is an awesome box. I believe this is the one for April. It might've been the one for March, but I know I have two more boxes coming in, so I can't wait for you guys to see that. But thank you guys so much for watching, trying to do different new things on this channel. I had a lot of fun unboxing this boxy box and trying these snacks, but I have not eaten today, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you for my new subscribers that are gonna subscribe because I know you are. And I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye. These haters on my body shake them all. Ooh.